Visit ccgcastle.com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Send us your book in exchange for Evolution Booster Box. Visit CCG Castle or check video description to learn more. Hello and welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Another day, another video, and this time I decided to build something for the Legacy format. And today I will show you my personal um, deck that I actually run. Um, so it's a Rayquaza EX with Electric. So pretty much 170 HP Dragon type. Um, Dragon Burst attack is the attack which we want to um, look at. So uh, for one uh, Lighting Energy and one Fire Energy we can hit for 60. But we need to discard one Lighting or one, or one uh, Fire Energy in order to use that attack. Um, for example, uh, we can discard as many uh, energies of any of these two types as we want and this attack will do 60 damage times the energy we discarded. So with Electric on the bench we can easily use Dynamotor and basically attach those energies over and over and over again to our Requazas and just retreat uh, from uh, one to other because they have only one retreat cost and we can easily retreat uh, with the sky field, uh, with the sky iron bridge in play, and basically we can go for 180 pretty much easily from turn to turn, which will be enough to knock out any EX in the current legacy format. So that's the pretty much game plan. And of course, with the Raikou EX, we can world bolt for 100 and snipe those benched Pokemon that our opponent actually haven't played. So with one fire energy in that case, we, will, we are just going to discard two lighting energies instead of the tree. So that's very important. Running also four tree line of the electric with the dynamotor. So once during our turn, we can dis uh, we can attach one lighting energy from this pile to one of our bench Pokemons. The reason why I'm running one copy of Zekrom with that bolt strike is of course to counter those sigil leaves because there's no Hex Maniac and I need somehow to counter Sigil Leaf. Of course, one Jirachi for that Stellar Guidance, you never know when you can use it. And of course, one Keldeo for the Rushing Retreat in case we don't have Stadium, or we are affected with a special condition like uh, Sleep, Paralyzed, Poison, or whatever, so we can easily remove that special condition. And of course, 14 Pokemons, um, 34 Trainer Cards, and 12 Energy. So let's move to some item cards to see what I actually also have in this build. One Energy Search. Why one Energy Search? Well, Energy Search is a good card because I can search my deck for a basic energy card reveal and put it into my hand. Sometimes I might not be able to have energy, uh, for example, Fire Energy, and with Energy Search I can easily um, search my deck for that energy. And the most important thing, I can junk harm into that Energy Search and even search my deck for, um, for example, another Lighting Energy, which is always good. I'm not running Skyla in this build because it's just one supporter card and it will be hard to find it, but I think one Energy Search is must have for this build. Uh, one Escape Probe, always good to have in your deck. It's like free catcher in the format, but you can't choose your opponent active Pokemon. You can force him to remove one of his active Pokemons to bench it Pokemon. And of course, with the Junk Arm, we can replay that Escape Probe over and over again. Four Junk Arms, discard two cards from your hand, search your discard pile for a training card, put it into your hand. That's it. That's it. That's all we have to need. That's all we actually need. Uh, for this build. John Carm is very, very good card for this deck. Um, four level balls, of course, so we can set up <clears throat> as many Tynamos and Electrics as we can, and of course we can even grab that Jirachi for that Steel Gadians if we don't have supporter card and pretty much search your deck for any kind of those supporter cards that I'm running. And two Pokemon Sketchers, switch your opponent active Pokemon with one of his or her bench Pokemon, but unfortunately we need to flip a coin because this card is actually errated. Uh, my A spec for this deck is going to be Scoop Up Cyclone, so I can easily put one of my Pokemon uh, from play into my hand and all cards attached to it. This is this is so broken with this build. I mean, who can one hit Nakat Rayquaza EX? I can tell you uh, who can. Um, basically, Absol from the Plasma. If I have five Pokemons on my bench, he can go for 120. Uh, 140 with... Uh, uh, Dark Low and the 170 bit Verbank and Laser. That's the one card. And the second card is, of course, a Garchomp because he can strike for the weakness. And the third card is um, Plasma Storm Cure. He can go for like 160 and with Silver Bangle 190. The same thing can apply for Absol. So only those three cards can one hit Nagar my Rayquaza. But of course, they need to have so many other stuff in play. If my opponent is not capable to one hit my Rayquaza, I can absorb some damage. I can just do a scoop up cycle and I can repeat it over and over again with my Junk Harm and pretty much exchange prizes for no prizes, which is very, very strong and powerful in this build. Copy of Super Road, of course, you never know what you can use to recycle back 
those electrics, even those power energy cards. Two copies of Switch, very important, just in case we don't have Keldia, we want to have ability with the Switch. One tool scrapper, of course, we want to be able to discard some tools from our opponent Pokemons and play. Two copies of Ultra Ball, of course, to search pretty much a deck for Keldeo, uh, Raikou, or Rayquaza. Um, 11 supporter cards, one of them is a Getsis, which is a very powerful card for the Legacy. Your opponent will his or her hand and shuffle all item cards uh, found there in his deck. Then I can drop the number of cards equal to the number of item cards my opponent shuffling his deck. Very, very good card, especially on the third one with the dead Jirachi. Um, two copies of N. Of course, I don't want to play too many ends, especially for the late game when I go down to like uh, one, two cards. So I want to have more Johnny Purse and more Professor Oak new theories um, in my build. And of course, three copies of Sky Arrow Bridge for that free retreat in case I don't have Keldeo. Sometimes I even don't want to put Keldeo in play because it's easy to price knockout and I can stuck with it in the Echo Spot. Even Genesec can one hit him knockout, so I really don't want to. Uh, keep Keldeo um, in play if I don't need it, because with Sky Arrow I can just retreat for free. One Floatstone is of, of course only for the Keldeo Rush in retreat, and 12 energies in deck, of course, 3 fire energies and 9 lighting energies for that one hit knockout with my a Dragon Burst. If you're looking for any of these cards, as usual, you can find them on ccgcastle.com. With TCG Center 5 code, you can also fi get 5% discount on your purchase, so keep that in mind. So let's do some game tests so you can actually see how this beast work in action. So see you in the game. All right, guys, let's do this. So waiting for my opponent to decide uh, if he wants to go first. Okay, so I'm going second. There is Keldeo sitting in my hand, and uh, pretty much mm, not the rest of the cards looks great. But I'm thinking about going with Juniper maybe for 7 instead of DM. Um, there's a Jinx with the Mimic. Sh uh, shuffle your hand in your deck, then draw a number of cards equal to the number of cards in your opponent's hand. Okay. Okay, so there's a Life Dew, and there's one Sharon, and there's also Sigilif with the Safeguard, one energy already on it, and there's a Silver mi a silver Mirror on that Sigilif, and it's my turn. So, not the best start for me, I guess. But at least there's one Level Ball. I can grab that Tynamo. Do I want to put my Sky Arrow in play? No, I really don't want because he will have free retreat with his Jinx. Let's go with the N. Okay, there's another Tynamo. There's a Zekrom. So right now I'm actually starting to get pretty decent hand, to be honest. Um, I can even grab with my level ball another Tynamo. Or maybe I don't need a Tynamo, but... Let's grab Sinamo just, just to have the extra one. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play my Catcher to try Lysander. Actually, to try Catcher, not the Lysander. He's Mewtwo on the bench. Unfortunately, not going to happen. Next turn, I can have one Electric in play and the Johnny Per for 7. So, in theory, I can even strike for the knockout. But the card I will tr probably looking for is definitely... No, there's also Mr. Mime. Hmm. I was hoping to find maybe that Raikou so I can hit knock out his Mime. Uh, not his Mime, but his uh, Mewtwo on the bench, or maybe even that Garbodor. Mm, there's also one Celebi with the future side. Okay. Okay. That's kind of interesting deck on the other side. I must say that. So um, the biggest problem right now is definitely that. Oh, Pokemon Reversal is the same thing as a Catcher. Um, this, the biggest problem is, of course, that uh, Sigilif with the Psychic. So I really want to knock him out with my Azekrom, of course, with uh, Bolt Strike. So I hope I can find top deck energy card so I can discard it with my, uh, my Janiper. So he used that Pokedex, and that's it. Oh. Okay, there's a fire energy as a top deck. I'm not sure if I want to attach that. Okay, let's attach fire energy on the Zekrom. And there we go. So, Ultra Ball for two copies of um, energies. And I can grab something like a Rayquaza. Or I can grab something like uh, Electric. Hmm. 
I don't need dynamo motor, I guess. I just want to attach that fire energy next turn. I can just use one dynamo motor. There is no chance that I can actually um, retreat this turn with my Keldeo. So this is going to be one energy on my Rayquaza. Of course, I want to trick out my opponent um, with my um, Rayquaza because I will. Probably go next turn with Rayquaza, knocking knocking out his Jinx. Then he will probably try to promote his Sigil Leaf in the active spot. And I really want to knock out that Sigil Leaf, that's for sure. So one energy on my Rayquaza, one Dynamotor on my Zekrom. There we go. I can try with my Catcher. Huh, interesting. What should I put in the active spot? I'm afraid of that Trubbish. I'm actually very afraid about Trubbish. So, I don't know if he plays... Okay. So, I don't know if he plays um, pretty much Garbador. So far, I stuck in the active position and I cannot retreat. That's definitely not good. I have Junk Carb, so I can Junk Carb for something like uh, something. But for now, I guess I don't need Junk Carb. I will use Junk Carb for the next turn. Um, pretty much maybe for level ball. So I can grab another um, electric. There is one Pokemon Communication. So he's shuffling his Mew back for a Garbodor. Okay, Garbotoxin will happen. So this is definitely. A very big threat and there's also floatstone so he can easily retreat and shut down my abilities that means I will need uh, again somehow to get that catcher to basically um, catcher his Garbodor on the bench and knock him out because I can't use my abilities I mean I can always junk harm I guess for um, ta a, a tool scrapper and remove his float stone so there's just a 60 damage and then from the poison I didn't wake up so I can't even retreat without switch I guess I can easily find switch um, let's just first use that tool scrapper and let's scrap some tools of course from his uh, bench of pokemons right now I can again use my Dynamotor, so I'm looking to attach energy on my Rayquazas. And I need to just switch so I can knock out his Mewtwo and grab two prize cards. Um, there's Escape Rope, there's no switch. Even Escape Rope will be good substitute, I guess. So, let's see. Of course, before I use my escape rope, I'm looking forward for that energy on my Zekrom. So let's play escape rope, let's see what my opponent will promote. If he decides to go with Sigil Leaf, I'm going to knock him out with my Bolt Strike, no question. So I'm waiting to see what he's going to exchange. I mean, he can always bring any kind of those Pokemons from the bench pretty much easily. I mean, he can trade Celebi, he can trade Jinx, he decided to trade Jinx, that means that I will um, promote my Rayquaza and uh, pretty much I'm going to hit with my Dragon Burst so hard, of course, for 180. The one prize for me is gonna be Professor's own new theory. Okay, so there we go with the Sigil Leaf in the active position. That means I need Retreat and I basically need to knock out his Sigil Leaf because Sigil Leaf with the Safeguard is a big threat to me. Um, Psychic will only do a 60 damage, which is not a big deal, I guess. So, one Lightning Energy from my hand and one Professor Zoke New Theory. Of course, I want to retreat in case I miss Stadium here. And as you can see, I miss my Stadium. So that means 
that I will retreat on my Zekrom, paying one lighting retreat cost, of course. Before I decide to strike, I'm going to use two Dynamotors uh, for my Requaza, of course, so I can basically next turn have uh, Requaza ready to maybe knock out his Mewtwo. Of course, he can maybe from nowhere find that catcher and knock out my Requaza. Even that can happen. Everything can happen. So let's go with that Bolt Strike. Bolt Strike for 120. I will uh, do 40 damage to myself, but I can take one prize. And it's a scoop up Cyclone, which is a very nice card. So right now I can start to use my um, scoop up Cyclone and basically um, remove all damage counters that I have on my Pokemons in play. Um, so I can even remove my um, Rayquaza and have Rayquaza with uh, full 170 HP in play. But let's see. So right now he's decided to promote his Mewtwo. He's the only attacker who can actually knock out my Zekrom. He has enough energies in it. So there's Bianca. He can draw cards until he have six in his hand. And there's one random receiver uh, for the Juniper. Okay. Interesting. X Ball for 120. Zekrom is knock it out. And of course, it's time to promote my. Requaza in the active position. Right now, I guess I can go with that Super Oat. So I can recycle that Fire Energy back into my deck. It is a very, very important thing. So let's go with the Dynamotor. And one more Dynamotor, so two Dynamotors, another Rayquaza is almost ready to attack. I guess I can scoop up Cyclone my Keldeo, so I can put it back. And I can get this, my opponent hand. So full heal, lost removal, lost world, junk card, not bad, four cards to be drawn. There's a Sky Iroh Bridge. And this is going to be Dragon Burst for 180. So all Lighting Energies discarded in exchange for 180 damage on that Mewtwo. And I can take two extra prize. So let's see. The first one is going to be Rayquaza. And the second one is a Flowstone, which is very nice. And uh, no, I know right now that my opponent has only Johnny Purr in his hand. So that's a big advantage for me. And that there is um, Lost uh, World. And the Johnny Per 4 7. So I just need two more knockouts. So there is one Super Road. Or I will need just one knockout if he put another um, EX on his bench. If he puts another EX on his bench, I have John Carm ready in my hand so I can easily try to get Catcher. So let's go with. Okay, there's a Flowstone. There's a Flowstone in my hand, um, John Carm. do I need John Carm? No, I don't need John Carm. So I can just rush in. I can use my John Carm actually for um, Tynamo and another Requaza. I don't need any of them. And I can grab that Scoop Up Cycle. Right now you are going to see why Scoop Up Cycle is so broken card in this deck. I can put Requaza back into my hand. I can have that Fire Energy. I can put my Requaza back on my bench. I can just easily retreat, hop, just like that, there we go, Rayquaza is ready to strike, I can use two Dynamotors, and I can easily power up my another Rayquaza with uh, two energy cards, and uh, I will also play my Professor Juniper here, but before I do that, let's see if I have any more Tynamo left, so I don't need Jirachi, I can discard it pretty much um, with my Juniper. And I'm looking for that another fire energy for the next turn in case he decide to end me or did something like that. So Sky Arrow Bridge, never know if I will need it. And Dragon Burst. So the Dragon Burst for 120 on his Mr. Mime and only one prize left to win this game. All right, another electric. That means that I can attach up to three energies with my Dynamotor from my Discord pile 
to my Rayquazas in play. So there's me and there's a Mewtwo EX and there's a copycat, so I will try definitely to um, catch her his Mewtwo on the bench for um, two prize cards. So put one damage counter on one of your opponent Pokemon in play. Okay. What he can take with the Junk Arm? Uh, probably Life Dew. That makes more sense. No, he decides to actually grab Energy Switch. That means that he will retreat and use Energy Switch and X Ball for 60. That means that I don't even need to use my Catcher. I can just simply um, power up my Rayquazas with as many energies as I can. So how many energies I can put on my Rayquaza? Oh, I can put three more energies. So this is gonna be 300 damage in that Mewtwo. Wow, this is gonna be very devastating blow for that Mewtwo EX. I can tell that. Okay, so one more Dynamotor and I'm strike I'm going to strike for 300 damage. I have switch, I have free retreat, so I can do whatever I want. And there we go. Dragon Burst for 300 damage and the game is over my friends so there we go 300 damage with the Dragon Burst Rayquaza is so broken so powerful deck for the legacy format and you should definitely try to play this deck out I hope you guys enjoy watching this video it was one short battle from 15 minutes but unfortunately I have hard time fighting very strong and competitive deck in the legacy format uh, online because I can't play on the tournaments with this deck and on the ladder is very hard to find um, strong opponents. So once again, there's a full deck list if you if you're looking forward to play it, you can you can just use it and test it. Uh, in my opinion, it works very good. I mean, the biggest problem was that start with the Keldeo, I was not able to uh, to find that switch pretty much uh, in the early game, but later once I was able to set up, it was uh, the game was just. Uh, easy to uh, play. So once again, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave comments below. As usual, have a nice day wherever you are. So, goodbye.